Okay, my name's Niall Hammond and we're working for Darlington Borough Council at the DFE development at the back of the town hall where we've got a really exciting archaeological find which is part of the medieval Bishop of Durham's manor house in Darlington. So excavations are ongoing, it's a normal part of the planning process um, but will be completed in due course so that the new building can go up. But the finds are proving really interesting. We've got medieval uh, deposits there, we've got medieval shoes, pottery, all sorts of things. We've got the foundations of the poor house of Darlington, built in the early 19th century. And underneath that, and we're only halfway through the dig at the moment, we're hoping to find more substantial remains of the Bishop of Manor House itself. Built around uh, 1200 AD, demolished largely around 1808, 1870. Um, but there's still quite a lot on site and there's big fragments of medieval stonework built into later stuff. So it's all proving really exciting. Uh, today we've got an open day about it. Um, lots of people have turned up, lots of interest, um, and it's a site with real heritage and real interest. We're weeks into the excavation here, so uh, we're getting a good idea about what we think we've found. Um, all the buildings that we can see are, we believe, part of the complex associated with the workhouse. So this is essentially the west wing of the workhouse surviving here. And it matches up very nicely with the uh, 1850s map of the, of the site from the Ulman survey. So that's, that's good, that means we can understand what these structures are. Um, it's nice, however, that we do have fragments of uh, uh, pieces of moulding that are probably part of the manor house. So we've had this looked at, um, and some of these pieces date from the 12th century onwards. So there, although we don't have the manor house or any part of it surviving itself, there are some architectural fragments that are built into the later construction. Um, that said, we do have some walls at the very far end, at the south end of the site, uh, which clearly predate the workhouse buildings. And they are only the very, very foundations, and it might be the, the foundations for wooden structures, but it's possible that they are medieval buildings. Um, certainly the, the, uh, the clay around them they're, they're cut through does have pieces of medieval pottery in, although that doesn't necessarily prove that these buildings are medieval. But we can say that they are between the, peri the uh, period when the pottery was put down and the later workhouse period, so although there's a few hundred years there to fill in, that's when these walls were probably built. Um, across the rest of the site we have um, entirely cut features which is pits and ditches and post holes that have been cut through with natural clay so we've been excavating and sample excavating those areas and um, we've found several ditches some post holes which have the potential to be evidence for a wooden structure um, probably the more interesting um, pit at the moment that we're working on is a large rectangular pit in the northwest corner of the site which looks as though it might be a pond um, the pottery coming out of it is 15th century-ish, perhaps earlier. Um, and that's when we understand it, this, there would have been formal gardens for the workout, for the uh, manor house here then. Um, if that's the case, there's a strong possibility this might be something like a fish pond, uh, but uh, we're as yet uncertain. What's definite is it's very carefully constructed. There's uh, wooden planking around the side and stake holes that's been used to help support it. So that's quite a nice feature. And from that we're getting artifacts such as leather,